We're gonna look at the third verse today in Psalm 149, and it talks about, of all things, dancing. Now, this is just the first part because we're actually gonna break this into two different areas. But dancing is something that for many, many people makes people just stop. There are churches that are out there like, this cannot even happen. There's been movies made about it. There have been people talking about this forever. Some churches will even dance within their assemblies, and that completely freaks people out. A long time ago, our church, which was the old Akron Baptist Temple, actually brought in an African-American church who wanted to see what it was like to have a huge sanctuary. The sanctuary at our church was so, so big, they wanted to see if it made sense for them. So they brought their choir in, they brought all their people in, they invited everyone in, and then they also invited us. And it was two different worlds because our assembly was very Caucasian and their assembly was very African-American. And one time the worship leader actually stopped and I'm just quoting as to what he said. And he said, let's raise our hands up and let's go back and forth a little bit. Even you white people can do that. Well, you know what? I wanted to join in. And the reason I wanted to join in is because the music was speaking to me and it was speaking through me. And my audience that day wasn't everyone else around me. My audience was God. Do you know what? Sometimes, quite frankly, in our life, you need to stop and dance. And maybe even something just so simple as putting your hand up while you sing may be something that you're recognizing God in. Dancing can be something that can be seen as offensive. And quite frankly, at times it is. But you know what? These are the motions that you take toward the Lord. And when is the last time that you reached out and reached up while you were singing your praises to Him?